Hey, what's up, guys? So today I want to explain this uh, famous uh, Terry Tau uh, Terry Tau paper called the Eigenvectors from Eigenvalue. So this paper is very interesting that uh, you can check out the uh, archive link. And uh, I got there uh, like fifty citation, right? But basically, uh, so basically, uh, what it says is that uh, there's an interesting uh, linear, uh, uh, interesting matrix equation, uh, which can relate to the eigenvectors. Uh, by the eigenvalues, but then not for the eigenvalue itself, but for the eigenvalues of all these minors. Uh, so if A is a biometry, then the uh, lambda one to lambda n, and uh, where J is component VI, the unit vector VI associated with the lambda IA related to the eigenvalue from lambda one to lambda n minus one, and this M1 to MJ is the, you, you delete J by J, uh, you delete J by J, uh, you, you delete the J and J uh, uh, column and the row, the remaining matrix is called the minor. And then suppose you know all the eigenvalue of minor, then the least eigenvalue of minor will, uh, will uh, determine this Vij square, which Vij is a, a J's component with the eigenvector Vi, okay? And uh, so in this video, I will, uh, you can check out an example of this paper. Uh, yeah, so this is the equation. The, so I will prove this identity very soon. And then you can check out the example here, okay? so. Let me just start and give the proof. Okay. Hope you guys subscribe to my channel. Yeah, so my channel just talking about some mathematics if you're in if you're interested. Uh okay, okay. Okay, so let's uh give the proof. Right. So in order to prove this, uh let me just uh, let me just write down. Okay, so let me just write down everything. So suppose let's say let's say so let's say A is an unbiased Hermitian. Okay, so why Hermitian? Because we will need to use a spectral decomposition, and then let's say lambda one, lambda two, uh, up to lambda n A is a unit vector. Uh, sorry, it's an eigenvalue, and then let's say V I the, the is the the eigenvector, and the normalized. Uh, we, uh, let's say with respect to let's say on the i, and the v i j are the j's component of i. Okay, and uh, this theorem tell you that uh, v i j square take the if k is one and the k do not the same as i, not the same as i, and then you take on the i a minus on the k a is equals to k from one to uh, minus one lambda one a mine times minus this lambda k m j. Okay, so you take j and you take j. So m j is the minor. Minor. Okay, so minor means that uh, there is a matrix and you you delete the the j the the remaining matrix. It's called minor. Okay. Okay, so uh, let me just give the proof and the using. I think this proof. Uh, I think it's the Kramer's proof, which is very uh, simple. Okay, we need like two. Uh, we need like two. Uh, idea, right? So I think hope. Uh, hope. Hope. I hope you guys understand the algebra well. Okay. Okay. So why is the color spectral uh, decomposition? Okay. So uh, once you have the spectral decomposition, let's say you consider lambda i n minus a inverse. Okay, you can write this as a. Uh, Summation k from one in one over lambda minus lambda k. So suppose lambda do not the same as lambda k, and then you get this vk vk star. Okay, so this is the spectral decomposition. Remember in the spectral decomposition that uh, in the spectral decomposition that uh, your matrix A right can be written as let's say lambda k A vk vk star. Okay. I, uh, this should be viewed as a dagger, right? But I mean, it's the same as dagger, but I use star. Okay, so you can you can start from here to this, right? You just take lambda i and then take the inverse, okay? And the, by, because I suppose lambda do not the same as any k, so these will uh, transform as this. Okay, so now we use Kramer's rule. Right, so we, we, why, why we need to use Kramer's rule? Because we want to connect, we want to connect the minor Right, to, to uh, we, we want to find a minor, right? Okay, so uh, very simple results that I, uh, the A inverse, right, is defined to be the, uh, you can check this is the famous result, basically called educator of A divided by the determinant of A, okay? 
and the educator of A is defined to be AIJ is defined to be the the CT right J right CT is called a cofactor C is called a cofactor factor okay and the CIJ is the famous uh, is the basically you delete I by the I and J so so I plus J minor okay okay and then you compute uh, you compute its determinants, right? So you compute its determinants. Okay, and then you pull and do transpose, and then uh, you get the uh, edu educate. This is called educate. And then divided by determinant A, it become A inverse. Okay, so this is the the also linear algebra results. Okay, so once we have these two, then and then it will be very simple. Okay. Okay, so now uh now let let's start from here. Okay, and then uh, consider uh consider this lambda i minus a. Okay, so we get the lambda i minus a inverse is defined. It will be the educate of lambda i minus a inverse. That's uh, where lambda i minus a and the uh, determinants of lambda i minus a. Okay, and the denominator is just the famous. They just uh, just do do the standard right. So okay, so this uh. And the determinants will be just just what just the k from one to n right and the lambda minus lambda k a okay so this is I think I hope this is simple <laughs> okay and for this one let's say let's say I maybe hard hard right right but let's let's consider the jj let's consider this matrix jj component okay I come to jj component okay so for jj component is still constant right so let's find a numerator. So for a numerator, remember this is just uh, the cofactor, right? So this is minus one, jj, right? So j plus j, which is one, which uh, so we don't need to care about this, and the uh, cofactor, right? So which is a uh, uh, which is a cofactor. So which is a uh, the minor of this, right? So you get lambda i minus the minor mj. But you take the determinant. Okay. So this will be lambda minus the product of k from one to a uh, minus one, right? Because you got you you did it one, right? So lambda minus lambda k and j divided by k from one to n lambda minus lambda k. Okay, so we just take the JJ component, you get this. So now you compare, uh, right? So now you can compare these these two. And you take JJ component both sides. For this, for this, if you take the JJ component, you get Vij squared. Okay. So combine these, uh, you can get the following. You get a summation k from one to n, lambda minus lambda k a. Let's say sorry, Vkj squared. Let's say you take JJ component, right? So you sum over k, and then for each k, you take j. Become uh, k from one to n minus one, lambda minus lambda k m j. K from one to n, and the uh, lambda minus lambda k a. Okay, so let's check it. So this is correct. And the, for this one, uh, yeah, you take the JJ component, so you get the v k j square. Summation k from one to n, one divided by lambda minus lambda k. A. Okay, so finally, finally you just take, right? So you can see that lambda, so you, this is a rational function, right? So rational function of lambda, right? So you just take the residue, right? You take the residue of lambda equals to lambda Ka. So for the for left-hand side, which you got the summation, you, you, you got the residue, let's say lambda equals lambda Ia, right? So you get Vij square equals to you plug lambda equals to lambda i, right? But for a residue, right? So which these terms will be non, you need to take a residue. So lambda, so k cannot be i. Okay, so you get the, okay, so you get the, k from one to n, and the k do not the same as i, and the lambda i minus, Lambda k a. Okay, and then you times this. Okay, so you get the vi h i v i j squared, then the k from not from uh 
the not the same as I take from n k over one one n and the lambda i minus lambda k a equals to uh k over one to n minus one lambda i minus lambda k m j. Okay, so this is the the theorem the, with which uh, Terry tells uh famous results. Okay, so I hope you guys see uh, like this video and uh, subscribe.